All right, everybody, hello and welcome. As always, I am Sean. This is In The Mixer, episode four of our one season one to save with Brighton and Hove Albion. I hope you guys are enjoying the week and the series thus far. Now, pretty much at this point, this thing's starting to get stretched out. When I don't look like a cone head, it just looks like a swimming cap. So, valuable lesson for anyone buying ball caps off eBay. Try and do your research as to how they actually look. But we roll on. We've got two massive games today, including a very, very big FA Cup tie to see how far we're going to get in that competition. And then we've also got some games in the league as well, which we have to recap as well. We've been doing really, really well this season, well and truly above my expectations. Let's jump in and see what kind of results we've gotten. So first and foremost, as you guys can see over on this side, we are currently in second position in the league. Now that might be a little bit Incorrect. We've played 27 games, 17 wins, 4 draws, and 6 defeats in that period. You can see Liverpool and Wolves have both played 26 games. United have played 26 games as well. If Wolves win that game in hand, they will go above us in the second spot. They've kind of come out of nowhere in the second half of the season. You can kind of see here they had a poor run in November where they didn't pick up a win. But then since then, they've only had one defeat away at Newcastle and pretty much like wins all the way through as well. The other loss that you can see there is in the FA Cup fourth round replay. So they just keep picking up points and keep scooping up league positions at the same time. So if they win, they will go above us by two points. But, you know, I think we do also have a more difficult run home than they do. Actually, who do they have in their run home? Let's have a quick look. So they've got City, Liverpool, Chelsea, United, Arsenal. United twice, actually. So And Tottenham on the final day. So they've got a tough run home. We don't have a great run home either, if we're being completely honest. We've got City, United, and Liverpool in the league. But the other, other games are winnable games, uh, all against opposition that I think we've played and beaten throughout the course of the season. We did play Wolves a little bit earlier, drew 1-1 with them. It was an 80th minute equaliser for them, which is frustrating, but, you know, like they're a good team. We shouldn't complain. We have in that period had good wins against Watford, Aston Villa, Blackburn, and Arsenal. The Arsenal victory was very, very good because we were 1-1 at half time, And then second half, we just kind of put our foot down a little bit. Neil Moore play played again with Troy Parrott out injured. He did very, very well. Aaron Connolly getting amongst the goals again as well. We beat Arsenal 2-1 in another phenomenal performance. Clive with the 93rd minute winner, which was a good little run of form for him. He has actually scored quite a few late goals. And then Aaron Moy from a free kick, a 1-0 victory against Tottenham. So we've had three sides that are all traditional like top six sides and we've beaten all of them. So we're on a fantastic little run of five straight wins now. We did have a 3-1 defeat to Bournemouth before that, but that's fine. Like Those things happen. And it does set us up for an away trip to St. James's Park, Newcastle. A very tough place to travel to in Football Manager before we have a chance at a little bit of revenge against Liverpool in the oh, sorry in the FA Cup before we play them in the league towards the end of the season. If you can't remember, they actually absolutely walloped us earlier on in the league season, 7-2. Now, I think it was David Barnett yesterday in the comment section kind of mentioned maybe we're going too attacking in these games. And yeah, that's probably true. But at the same time, we've also got like set piece issues, I think. I'm pretty sure Van Dijk and Origi both got goals from set piece scenarios, whether it was corners or free kicks or whatever else. So that might be something that we keep an eye on in this kind of return fixture. If we win, great. We keep going through the FA Cup. Maybe we do have like, you know, a, an FA Cup final appearance or something later on in the week. Or we lose and that's we just focus on the league. And the league's been great, so that's not really anything to complain about either. As far as the squad's concerned, Leandro Trossard just cannot get in get himself fit. He's still out with that broken leg. And really, like he started the season incredibly well. 7.13, five goals in six appearances. But like we're now 27 games into the season, so he's missed a big, big chunk of the year, which hasn't quite helped us all that much. Thankfully, Clybert's versatility has helped us a little bit. Solly March has played a bit as well. We've also tried to bring in McAllister working as that left winger or that inverted winger on the left-hand side. We might even do that today, actually. I might give March a bit of a spell and we'll bring McAllister on on that left. Glenn Murray's got a bit of a knock. David Proper nearly fit again. He won't play in this first game, but we might try and get him back for the Liverpool match. And Trossard... Oh, sorry, and Troy Parrott still out for another two to four weeks with a twisted ankle. So injuries have been kind of adding up, piling up a little bit in this portion of the season, but we had a really busy December. January has spaced out a little bit further. Hopefully, once we get through February as well, we've got weeks gap between each of our games for the remainder of the season. That should help us get a fully fit lineup out there each week. Now, Moy does have a bit of a knock, but it says that he doesn't need a fitness test. So it says he's returning to full fitness imminently. I think that means he's good to go. But Sumba still struggling for a little bit of condition. We might give him a half and we might try and get Proper on at halftime. Now watch as I forget to bring him on at halftime and accidentally run Basumba into the ground. But it's good that we have him getting back into the lineup. 
So as you guys can see, we're going to go with Ryan in goal, Webster and Dunk as a defensive partnership. Windahl at left wing back has been fantastic since joining from Alkmaar. Lamptey over at right wing back has been probably one of the surprises of the season. I think originally we had Shalotto down as playing right back, but Lamptey's progression has been good throughout the year. Basumba will anchor alongside Moy, our captain and highest average rate of player for the season. McAllister on the left wing, Club on the right. Connolly plays at the pressing forward number 10 and Morpay leading the line as the advance forward. Looking at Newcastle, they're going with like a 3-4-3 three, three, or 5-2-3 kind of thing. It's very similar to the uh, beta shape that I tried to do with Atletico Madrid. They might be having more success than I did, to be completely honest. They've got a few new faces in the lineup. Luis Felipe, 22-year-old Brazilian, has joined them from Lazio at the start of the season. Or maybe even in January, actually. He's only made three appearances, so he hasn't been around that long. Looks decent, though. Four-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential. We've got Serginio Dest, who's making his debut for the club, actually, after joining from Ajax for... He's actually only on loan. 150k loan deal. It'll be interesting to see if there's, like, a permanent transfer fee. No, it doesn't look like they put anything in. They've just brought him in for the sake of bringing him in. But he's obviously a very good young... I think American Wonder Kid, and he's potentially also Dutch. Yeah, he is also Dutch. I have seen him switch and be a Dutch player a couple of times in different saves. Uh, Danny Rose over at left back, of course, on loan from Tottenham. Alan St. Maximin, who's probably one of the players. He's not bad. Four-star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential. I think he's one of the players that we might see improve quite a bit in FM21. He's had a good year. He's been a good player for a couple of seasons as well. He might be one that you have to keep your eye on for the next game. So they've gone a bit defensive. They're in a, probably a good structure as well with those two wingbacks to deal with our inverted wingers, but I'm hopeful we can uh, carry on our good run of form. Maybe if you've given a lot of credit lately, it's going to put a worthy display and let's tell our defense that we've got faith in them as well. Even though we are away from home, we are going attacking from the off. We're just basically gunslingers at the moment. We just want to try and score as many goals as humanly possible. Moy's going to get a chance from a free kick here, about 20 yards out. It's not a bad effort, but, but Dubrovka in the Newcastle goal, equal to it, saves and holds. And in the end, I think got there quite comfortably. Long ball forward to Almiron. Oh, he's got a great touch beyond the defender as well. And it's an excellent save from Matty Ryan. But we're going to have to be wary of that. If they're going to go super direct in transition from the keeper, we'll have to uh, make sure that we're getting back into our defensive shape relatively quickly. And the resulting corner, Ryan comes out and claims with no issues. Throwing now left-hand side, Window finds Busumba. Forward to Morpe, who's peeled off the shoulder. Shah picks it back up for Newcastle. And Almiron had that chance earlier. Poor pass back to Connolly. Square ball here to McAllister. Can't get back on his right foot. He goes more pay near post. And the strike never really looked like challenging the goal. Corner to be taken by Moy. Towards back stick. Webster was there, but it's cleared away. Connolly will recover. And he loses out to Longstaff in a good position, but does well to win it back. Beats one man. Gets a strike away. Pretty tame effort, though. Dubrovka equal to it. Deep free kick here for St. Maximum. Both sides with a lot of opportunities here in the first half. Federico Fernandez has nodded that one home as well. We'll check it out here in three dimensions. We spoke about in the struggles with Liverpool and set pieces. I'm thinking, and I did mention it in the comment section yesterday, that like when we don't have Shane Duffy in the squad, we seem to really struggle out of the air. That's Lewis Dunk, who's right there on him, and he's probably our best defender and not really winning a lot of those 1v1 aerial duels. Moy with the corner here might bring one back, and Morpay thankfully finds an equal as He's ninth for the season, which is crazy given that he hasn't really started that many games throughout the course of the year. Another wonderful delivery by Aaron Moy as well. Right footed ball curling back in. Keeper can't come for it. More pages peels off the shoulder. Nods at home. And we restore parity with a few minutes to play. So Wolves have also gone ahead of us because we are only drawing. We're going to use a demand more shout. Give everyone some focus through to half time. 1-1 one, one at half time isn't the worst result. Two minutes of additional time to be added on. They've got one last highlight here. Fernandez with a throw in. Moy's won it. Well, Moy nearly won it back in a really good area. And then two men go to the press for the keeper. Desta stayed forward. Now St. Maximin, don't jump in. That 19 dribbling, you've got to keep an eye on it. Windahl will recover. Don't tackle him, thankfully. I thought maybe he was going to chop him down for the penalty there, but Ryan with a good save. So at halftime, eight shots, six on target, 41% possession. 11 shots, eight on target, 59% for Brighton. I think we've probably had maybe just a few more highlights than they have. I'm going to passionately say... We've been the better team here, and no one seems to care. So let's go and say you weren't that bad, but you can improve. And most have responded positively to that. As always, we'll give it 15 minutes, and then we'll look at subs, form, fitness, all that sort of stuff. We do have a highlight here, but we've given a throw pretty much straight back to Newcastle. Switch across. It's a good tackle from Webster on St. Maximin. He would have been through on goal had he got that touch first. McAllister cuts inside, finds Connolly. Moy, good switch over to the overlapping window. Can he get a ball in the box? Goes near post, post towards Morpe. And then Dest just kind of plays it out for the corner kick. It'll be Moy to take again. 
He's got a short option there. He goes to McAllister first time around. He tries to get the ball back in. He gives us another corner. If there's a man standing right there, don't play the short corner. Just use your head, Aaron. You know what you're doing. Webster near post. It's headed away. Basumba. Deep ball across. Morpe was in the area. Webster again. Now dunk. Back to Webster. And the highlight comes to an end without anyone getting any sort of strike at goal. Reset now from the goal kick. Ryan to take. Plays forward to dunk. Goes to the long ball forward towards Clivert, who's been pretty quiet in this game. We haven't seen much of him. He's probably our best dribbler of the ball. Good switch out to McAllister here. He looks to get back on his right foot, or he plays it back to Windahl. Finds Basuma in midfield. Moy at the edge of the area. Clivert, back to Moy. Can he work the strike? He goes himself. It's deflected heavily, and Aaron Connolly follows up with the rebound. 13th goal of the season for this Liverpool, oh, not Liverpool, for the Irish teenager. We're going to check this one out in three dimensions. I think Moy's strike gets shut down by the defense, and we're pretty fortunate that the deflection, it does indeed, the deflection pretty much falls to Connolly. The keeper should have come out and gotten it. If it was real life, the keeper would have scooped that one up without uh, any second thought. But it gives us 2-1 advantage. We've got something to defend now, and we might have a look at these subs real quick as well. Clive, it's not had the greatest game. We're going to bring on Solly March for him. Inverted winger on the right-hand side. And we've also got Lamptey, who's not playing particularly well. We'll give Shalotto some game time. At the same time, Webster's got a yellow car, but I'm going to have faith in him to uh, see out the rest of the match. Assertively, we'll say, I've got faith in you. And then we're also going to use a get creative shout with about 30 minutes remaining in the game. We haven't seen much from Newcastle this half, but they do have the ball here. Shah sends Dest into the corner. who might be pushing on a little bit further. And thankfully, it's a defender's finish. Wild drive and well and truly beyond the far post. Throw in left-hand side, taken by Windahl. Looks to try and play a square little ball there to Morpe. I think he just stayed on side. The game continues, so I'm assuming he did. St. Maximin recovers in a very deep position. Looks to play it back to Longstaff, back to Dubrovka. Long ball forward to Dest, who might have switched positions. I'm guessing he's playing a little bit further forward now. Just stand him up, boys. Don't do anything silly. Webster closes it down well and should get to the rebound. No, St. Maximin covers a lot of ground very quickly. And dribbles past a couple, and thankfully, the finish just isn't there. That sums up his game quite a bit. Dribbling for days, but the finish... Never quite in the right spot. All right, 10 minutes remain. We're going to make that last sub. I think we're going to take off Webster, maybe, because he hasn't had the greatest game. We might bring on Duffy, and we might go to a no-nonsense center back. Two stoppers side by side. This could be uh, a recipe for disaster, but I'm hopeful it'll just shore things up. We're also going to use a demand more shout, just give everyone some focus through to full time. I completely forgot to take off Basuma or to take off Moy for... Uh, what's his name? Propa, but that's fine. At least he'll be fresh for the last game. And we've pulled another goal back. It's another wonderful assist for Aaron Moy. Fourth goal of the season for Solly March as well. And 3-1 with two minutes of additional time remaining. That should be enough to secure the three points away at Newcastle. It's a wonderful header. And it's a wonderful ball in as well. Like the pace on that, no one's getting anywhere near it. And the run was perfectly timed. Three minutes added on. We're through that now. So 3-1 victors in the end. 16 shots, 10 on target. 40% possession for Newcastle. 22 shots, 11 on target, 60% of the ball for Brighton. Passionately, we're going to say very happy with the result and the way that you played. And everyone seems to have responded fantastically well, which is great. We stay in second spot, but Liverpool still have two games in hand on us. Wolves still have that annoying game in hand on us. I'm assuming maybe Liverpool are playing Wolves and United, or maybe Burnley or something. Norwich also now only sitting on 27 games. So there's a few teams that uh, have got midweek fixtures that should come through in the next few weeks. Moy with his three assists. I didn't realize he got the third one, but a 9.0 match rating. He's been magnificent. Passionately, he was superb with the number and quality of chances created, and he's very, very happy. Our captain, our leader, the man that's got me wearing this stupid fucking ball cap. We've only got four days to the game against Liverpool. I think we're going to use a rest day. Well, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put our starting lineup out there, so I'm going to get Proper back out there as well. Parrot won't be back in time. Murray won't be back in time. Trossard won't be back in time. Burn probably won't play. So I think this is the lineup that we will go with. Morpay continues his little run of games in the side. We're just going to use one rest day just to hopefully get everyone back above 90% condition before the match. You can see Moy struggling a little bit. He's played a lot of football this season. There's a few others out there as well that are also going to be pushing it to get back above 90%. But magic editing, when you jump forward to the match against Liverpool now. Right, just like that, we're a few days ahead. The only change for us is Proper coming back into midfield. Otherwise, it is the same lineup that just won against Newcastle. Liverpool playing a 4-2-3-1 because every big side in the Premier Division plays a 4-2-3-1 in Football Manager this year. Interestingly, and I don't know if everyone else sees this in their saves as well, but Liverpool consistently replace Robertson with the likes of Alex Tellez. I've seen them also pick up Renan Lodi from Atletico Madrid. Alexandra, I think they got once from Juventus. 
And he's decent. Like, he's got good corners, good crossing ability, solid mental attributes, solid physical attributes. But, like, it's just a weird one. I don't think he's an upgrade on Robertson, but maybe they're looking for, like, complete wingbacks on either side. I'm not sure. They're interesting going with Van Dyke and Lovren as the defensive partnership. Van Dyke got a double against us last time. Fabinho anchors midfield with Oxide chamberlain alongside him and Lallana at the 10. But that front three, Mane, Firmino, Salah, pretty much full strength. So it's a very, very strong lineup. Passionately, we're going to say we owe Liverpool after what happened in our last match. Conceding seven to any team is uh, obviously cause for concern, but they are a very good team. Dunk with the ball here to Lamptey. Back to Dunk again. Now Proper. Good ball over the top to Morpay. He's gotten goal side early. Can he find the finish, though? It's a good save from uh, Allison in goal. And tell you what, maybe that little run off the shoulder of Dejan Lovren is how we can get him behind. Moy with the deep ball in. Fabinho with the header away. Connolly will recover at the top of the box. Back to Proper. Connolly again. Window tries to play it back to Salah. They've won the ball back. That gig impressing. It's a good foul from Window. Smart foul. Just breaks up the play. Let's us get back into shape. Deep throw in here. Lamptey to Clivert. Into Moy. Back to Lamptey again. Now Dunk. Ball towards Clivert. Does well to bring it down into good area. Turns away from Van Dijk as well. Can he find the finish? He can indeed. Alison Beck a big chunk of it. But Clivert, ninth goal of the season. Our big money signing from Roma. 25 million pound. And I think he's been pretty good for us most of the time. I don't think he actually performs that well when we're recording episodes, but there's just streaky players like that. It's a good, good effort. And Becker did get a big chunk of it. Maybe could have pushed it around the post if he had to maybe stayed on his feet a little bit longer, but it's a good finish. We're going to take it for the one goal advantage. Deep throw in here. We're going to be 10 men briefly because Lamptey's off the pitch getting treatment. Can someone please drop in for him? Because there's three players on the left-hand side here. Mane comes forward. Cuts inside, dunk like he's not even there. He's going to find the finish. Now, it's a great save from Matt Ryan. See, that's annoying because Lamptey's off the pitch, getting treatment. No one drops into that right back spot, and they immediately attack down that side. Salah with the ball in. It's a deep, deep ball, and over everyone out for the goal kick. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that knock to Lamptey. He's played pretty well. Shalotto is on the bench if we need him, but it's very much a, a downgrade, I think, physically. I don't think uh, Shalotto can really cope with a lot of the pace that uh, Mane is going to present throughout the course of the day. Uh, Chamberlain with the ball here. Cut back to Mane, speaking of, and it's a good strike, but I think Ryan had it covered as it heads over the crossbar. Through 30 minutes now, we're going to use Demand Morsh out. Got a corner. Moy to take. It's towards Morpe, but Becker comes out and claims. Looks for the throw quickly. Clivert recovers in a good position. Moy helps out as well. Play, tries to play a ball forward to Morpe. It's cleared, but only as far as McAllister. Cut back ball towards back stick. Clivert was there, but it's well read by Tellez. Webster looks to carry the ball into midfield. Sends it wide left now. Clive, it's got a bit of work to do. Now Moy, back to Proper. They look for that overlapping run. It wasn't quite there. It's just head tennis at the moment. Pinballing around between their defense and ours. Ball forward for Moyane. And now he's gotten goal. So I just stand him up. Don't do anything silly. He beats Lamptey. And then thankfully, I don't know if you put that against the post or if you just lost control or Lamptey tackled him or what the scenario was, but we do scramble it away. Long clearance forward there by Window. Morpay tries to play the reverse pass to Connolly, but Van Dijk reads it very well. Back to Becker. Long ball forward. Lamptey with a good header. Finds Moy. Now Clive, it looks towards Morpay. He's closed down well by Connolly. Connolly gets goal side as well. Can he find the finish? I think that was going wide regardless, but Allison with a good save down to his right-hand side. Throw in. Lamptey finds Moy. Deep ball across. Van Dijk with the header away. Proper's in the area, but Lalana clears at the edge of the box. Webster all the way back to Ryan. Work it side to side, boys. Finds Duncan here. Good ball across to Clivet. We might get an overlap here. Moy's there, but he's lost possession to Chamberlain in midfield, and they've sent Mane down into the channel. Here's goal side. It's a great save from Matt Ryan again. Windar with a long clearance, and we might have to make that sub at halftime because Mane's just getting in behind whenever he feels like at the moment. Salah with the ball. Finds Alexander-Arnold. Just stand him up, boys. Don't do anything silly. Goes the strike from the wide area. I don't feel like he'd do that in real life, but, you know, football manager being football manager... Clivert, long ball forward from Ryan, finds him quite well. Cutbacks there for Connolly, if you can find him. Instead, he goes the strike from the wide area. Becker equal to it, but it was going wide. Three minutes of additional time to be added on at the end of the first half here, and we've got another highlight for Liverpool. They're having a nice little flurry here after 30 minutes. Fabinho, back stick ball towards Mane. It's clipped the post, and then Window clears it away for the corner. Mane is doing all sorts on that left-hand side. We're going to make that change at halftime. Salah with the ball in. Back Mane, back to Salah again. And it's closed down by McAllister. They're going to have another corner. So a bit of pressure that they're putting on us here at the end of the first half. And it was set pieces that did the damage in the first game. McAllister, good header away. Lalana pinballs it around. Proper wins it back in a good area. And then the uh, referee, referee puts his flag up 
for a foul. So half time called, eight shots, six on target, 51% possession for us, 14 shots, seven on target, 49% for Liverpool. Passionately, we're going to say, I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. We're going to take off Lamptey for Shalotto. You can see Propa on 87% condition, but 62% match sharpness. So I'm not that worried about that. Moy's not having a great game and has a yellow card either. McAllister struggling, Connolly struggling, but like from the highlights we've seen, I don't think they've been doing that badly. Maybe we make an adjustment. Maybe we go to our counter-attacking structure for this next 15, 20 minutes. And let's just see how we're tracking. If we're inviting too much pressure, we might go back, but we do have a throw in here, right-hand side. Shalotto, first involvement from him. Club with a lovely touch around the defender, and it's a good strike from wide area, but Becker, again, equal to it. We probably got the biggest tie of the fifth round ourselves in Liverpool. Chelsea playing Southampton, two Premier League sides. We've got the ball here. It's forward from Dunk to Moy. Now out to McAllister. Good cutback there for Proper. Back to Ryan again. Switch sides, please. Thank you. He finds Dunk. Now I can work it out to Shalotto at right back. He's got some time and space, but he takes too long on the ball. Mane closes down very, very aggressively. Shalotto into Clivert. Now he's got a little pocket of space, goal side of the midfield. What can he do? Finds more pay. Can he find the finish? It's a good save for Becker again. That's what I like about this structure, those inverted wingers. They Because there's no 10 there getting in their way, because there's a striker like trying to run off the shoulder as well, it uh, opens up a lot of space for them. Makes it difficult for defenders as well. We're through the hour, so we're going to make one more sub. Proper not being fully fit, I think, is a concern. So we're going to bring on Basuma, who's not done terribly in the last couple of weeks, just trying to uh, get involved. Now, we've got a goal kick here again. Dunk with a long ball forward, but Tellez recovers unchallenged. Mane knocks it back to Milner. Lalana out to Mane. Now Firmino. Good tackle by Dunk. Forward to Connolly. What can we do? Wide right area. Tellez wins it back from Connolly. And now Liverpool in possession again. Clivert closes him down very well. Can he find a teammate nearby? Tellez actually recovers it back from him. Those two just go on tip for tat on the tackles at the moment. Reverse pass here to Firmino. Wide left area. Hasn't got much of an angle. And Ryan with a good save. Deep free kick here for Moy. He hasn't had the best game, but is deadly from these scenarios. It's a good effort, and Becker scrambles across. Makes the save at the far post. Take your time on the corner. No we need to rush it. Goes towards near post. Lalana with the flick on header. It's going to get reset through Basuma. Left-hand side. Back to Windale. And the highlight comes to an end. I'm not sure why that highlight continued to be on the corner if uh, nothing was going to happen. So we get towards the last 10 minutes. We've got one more sub up our sleeve. Window with a good win. McAllister back to Ryan. Switch out towards Clivert. Good ball from the uh, sweeper keeper. Clivert comes forward. Looks to play Connolly into the channel. Can he want to cut back back stick? More pay was there. Oh, just pinballs around. Milner plays it forward. And with Webster with a wonderful tackle on Firmino. And Moyes won the ball back in a great area. He looks towards Connolly. It's fallen to More pay. Can he find the finish? He can indeed. 10th goal of the season for Neil More pay. Wonderful, wonderful contribution from him. We've got one more sub and two-goal advantage. The same Connolly and Morplay play poorly. I don't feel like they have. We're going to take off McAllister. Clivert can come over to the left-hand side. McAllister can play for Solly March. And then we're also going to say, I've got faith in you. Deep ball here from Milner across to Tellez. These subs haven't actually gone through yet. I also want to use a demand more shout with a few minutes remaining. If they pull something back here, it's going to make it a very interesting last 10 minutes or so. Let's go demand more with 10 minutes to go. Becker with a long ball forward. March with a good header. Came off the bench and scored in the last match. Can he try and do the same in this FA Cup tie? March with the ball. Gets into the box and it's a pretty tame effort to be fair. I think even if Becker had missed it, it was going side netting regardless. Moyan window, both on yellow cards now. We're going to have to be wary of that. Clive, it's also struggling a little bit for condition. Origi with the ball on halfway. He skips past the challenge. Or March actually does very well, but it's going to fall to Ariki's advantage. Shalotto wins it back, right on the byline, and receives possession again. Just carry it forward, just head towards the corner flag, boys. Looks to send Connolly in the channel, but it's well read by Van Dyke. Tellers with a long ball forward. Good header there from Dunk. Clive it now, over on the left-hand side. What can he do against a different fullback? Looks to cut it back and back up with a good save. Deep throw in. I'd, I'd, to be honest, I'd just take the full-time whistle at this point. Lalana's won it back from Dunk, and he's dragged Webster across. It's a good challenge from Webster. March will recover. Dunk, switch out towards Morpé. It's a good tackle from Lovren, but it's fallen to Clivert, who skips past one fullback. Can he find the finish? Tellez pinballs it around, and it's actually a very intelligent header from Tellez. Heads it back to, uh, to what's his name? Alison Becker, who keeps the uh, 
ball in his hands. It's another highlight again. March with the ball forward to Connolly. Beats one challenge. Can he find the finish? Wide right area. It's pinballing around and they get it away again. Deep ball towards Mane, who's had a pretty poor game. Windale goes through, but thankfully it's brought back for offside. Ryan with the ball now. Long one forward to Clivert. Basuma. Can he find the switch out to the right-hand side? Finds Solly March. Looks for the cutback. It's a good tackle. This game just has had so many highlights. It's ridiculous. Moy's going to take this last corner. Just keep it at the corner flag, lad. He's gone deep again. Lovren with the header away. Mane looks to clear and surely referee. That's the four minutes. And he calls full time. It's a bitter revenge for that 7-2 defeat earlier in the season. But 19 shots, 15 on target, 56% possession for Brighton. 23 shots, 11 on target, 44% of the ball for Liverpool. Passionately, I'm going to say, really special, lads. Nobody gave you a chance. And that sets up a quarterfinal in the FA Cup. We're going to check out that draw as well before we finish up. Lamptey's got a bruised ankle, so that's not that bad. Clive actually gets the man of the match award with his goal. We're telling him he was superb in front of goal last time out. And Coman was there watching Window, Pro Park, Clive and Van Dijk for his Dutch squad. I didn't realize we had that many Dutch players, but... Whatever helps Brighton get better or strengthen is great. All right, and here we go. The draw for the FA Cup quarterfinals. We're going to check out how this one goes. Probably looking at the teams. Arsenal, Chelsea, United are still in there. We'd prefer to get one of this side. Like, Huddersfield would be great. Be a bit of an old derby match for Aaron Moy, having previously pl played for the Terriers. And I've got the hiccups at the worst time. Chelsea draw Huddersfield. Of course they do. Burnley have drawn Man United. That's good. Arsenal have drawn ourselves. We've beaten them a couple of times. I'm confident that we can again, and Newcastle get Bournemouth in the other game. We will probably play that one off screen, I think, but what we might try and do is if we get through, we'll definitely try and bring you guys in tomorrow's episode, the FA Cup semi-final, and then that might add like, you know, an additional game on Saturday. Maybe we do like an FA Cup final special or something like that. We'll just see how we go. If we don't get through, we'll just bring you guys tomorrow, the last two games of the season, which are Liverpool again, and Everton to finish off the year. We are still sitting in second spot. Wolves do have that game in hand. It'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. And we do still have Liverpool with two games in hand on us and seven points clear. I don't think we're going to catch them, but we do want to try and finish as high as we can in the division, given how well the season has gone thus far. But super exciting stuff. Still got some silverware that we can potentially win as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is the part that I appreciate the most. If you want to give feedback, positive or negative, if you've got your own one season wonder saves, drop it in the comment section below. If you've got your own saves and you just want to let me know how they're going, let me know down in the comment section below. I do respond to every single comment that I get. But more than anything, I just appreciate you guys watching. That's the part that means the most to me. As always, I've been Sean, and I'll see you all again in the mixer.